Hello everyone, I'm back with a new tutorial and this is going to be fun. Um, I'm working with a small little... I'm working with a website here called Room Styler to make 3D backgrounds for my game. They're just placeholders at the moment till I can find an actual uh, new 3D modeler. But the thing is, my first one had no direction to go off of because I had no uh, background concept art or anything. So um, now that I have, uh, you know, this small program, I can make not only make these pre-rendered, uh, you know, backgrounds for my game, but when I find a 3D modeler, they can recreate the room like from full 360 degree angles. Um, now you have to sign up, like make an account, but that's because the website saves all of your creations. Think like, I don't know, like Minecraft or something. So um, yeah, I just signed up with Facebook. So yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, things I experimented with, school hallway, etc. Um, I'll show you one or two of these later. Uh, here's the protagonist room. I guess you can view that. Uh, that's view, so that just shows me the fully rendered, uh, you know, picture. But uh, if you go to edit, which is what I meant to go to, um, yeah, you can uh, go to a uh, shoot. Let me show you. Okay, so over here, let me back up a bit. You can add in a room. And using the camera, you can control different angles at which you can, you know, view the room. Like right here. So yeah, you can create multiple rooms or buildings within one uh, thing. So if you want to make a fully, like, realized, like, town or, like, something... You could, except you can't exactly make streets. Again, this is a room styler for like home building and stuff, recreational. So, um, it's not really meant to be for the uses that uh, I'm using it. But, um, it's uh, pretty flexible. So, I've managed to make it work creating full outside scenes and stuff. But, nothing uh, amazing. I don't even think you can make trees. And plus that means, you know, you can't exactly have water or anything like that either. Um, Alright. So, let's go to wood. I want to change the color of the... I want to change the floor. Which, you don't have to just make it wood and stuff. There's other... You can paint it or you can add a steel-like texture. Like what you find, like in a factory or something, those still hard uh, floors. And plus, uh, alright, we go up here, paint, we could change the color of the walls to, let's make it velvet truffles number six, decorate all walls. I place you could decorate the ceiling if you care enough to uh, do that. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, oh, shoot. Okay, let me, uh, I can't delete that? No, I can't. Okay. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, this is not going so well. Okay. Alright, and that works. Kinda. Let's add a window in here. Just to get that out of the way. Go here, windows. Let's add this. Let's make it a... Uh, 2 meters. It might be a bit, bit big for a window, but this is just to give you an idea of what you can do. Mm, and let's add a bed. So I really don't want to... I'm just trying to show you all the basics of uh, this program. So 
So it's not very precise because I'm not zoomed in. All right, and let's have furniture, tables. And uh, okay, Edison, turn around and right. Let's add home entertainment and let's add a TV. Now that's kind of a small TV, but. There's bigger ones available. I know you can't really see it right now, but you can bring the camera here over the bed for an FPS view if your character is just waking up. And um, you can control the height of the camera and the angle. So that's really cool. And yes, I guess if for all you those wondering, you could make an F a Five Nights at Freddy's game out of it probably using this like you'd have your walking animations you come over here take a photo and do that frame by frame like about uh, quite a few times actually and once you do that you have a walking animation like you would for Five Nights at Freddy's 4 when the kids walking across the room as for opening the uh, doors up um, I'm not too sure about that So yeah, so this is Room Styler. I'm just showing you the basics of this. Um, there's a lot you can actually do, like outside scenes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, if I show you more of the protagonist room, there's um, you know, basically what we have in there, plus a laptop and stuff like that, desktop, and a small lamp. You know, just small little details to make the room feel more alive. I want to have uh, other stuff in here too. Like, definitely could, uh, this room could definitely use more color. So, yeah. Um, shoot, well, I guess that's just about it. Um, also, there's, um, the main character's classroom. Which, uh, I'm not gonna say that. Which, uh, I really like how, uh, that came out. Multiple angles. So, the game, in the game, you'll be able to go to multiple rooms. But if you can't, but, um, if you don't want to keep using the same background for the same room, you can move the camera around and practically have a different classroom. You can, like, rearrange stuff like the teacher's desk and whatnot. The computer on there. Maybe they have a whole entirely different kind of desk or way of um, having things set up. Now, plus, they also have sliding doors uh, in this program, which I thought was cool, but they don't have windows on them like I wanted, and that's a big gripe with me. Uh, that's another room I have, other than the hallway. And well, I guess that's about it. Like I said, you can make a 3D, not 3D, um... <clears throat> can make outdoor scenery but it's really not that easy to get the windows like this you uh have to place them on top of each other but see here where it says window position distance from base of window to floor um you have to edit one of those to be higher than the others and that's how you get the two-story look but um yeah so i like how this came out if you can see i decorated the entire inside because you can see through the windows uh yeah, so I really like how this um, all came out and I uh, hope y'all get some use out of it because it really is a cool program. So once you're done making whatever you're making, I'm um, not going to save this, but you take a 3D photo, you can select your brightness. I'd make it a bit low just in case um, I want the scene to be a bit, uh, you know, lighter or darker than usual. That way, if it's, you know, nighttime or maybe later in the day, I can uh, 
edit the picture that sent to your email once you save the 3D room. Um, you can edit that to make it look how you want since it'll always be daytime no matter what you choose. Well, um, here's some more examples of um, what the finished product looks like once you get it in the email when you take a 3D photo. Um, other than that, I'm happy I could show you this program and I hope it helps you out on whatever game you're working on. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I will be back with maybe more tutorials. Just tell me what you want because I'm not fully sure what more I need or want to show you in this visual novel tutorial series. But thank you for viewing and goodbye.